So I've done that to let a piece in there. And I've got a couple of pieces of oak that I'm going to drop in there, flush. And then I've just done this one, look. That nail, you can only just see it. My router, it's just missed that one. I can sharpen it, but. So yeah, true that up and, but yeah, I'm putting patches in because look, this is the state of them. Um, and I'm putting oak patches in. And I'm gonna use a modern glue. So all, to all those purists that use animal glue all the time. Now I'm going to use a modern adhesive with that pine and with it because this is taking a lot of weight and and the um the old animal glue can't take it. Look at all the compression there. So yeah, a bit disappointed, but hey ho. Two more to do, and that's while I'm waiting for this to dry to get another yeah, I've got lots going on with that. Good morning. Lots going on. Let's grab a cuppa. Nettle tea. Sunday morning. Nettle tea. It's got to be the way to do it. I've been rubbing my eyes a lot lately. And um, I had some nettle tea a few days ago, last week. And um, it was so much better after having nettle tea. And this thing is mirror glass. This is uh, UV resistant glass. It's um, really per seriously purple when you look up at it. But anyhow, I keep my nettles in there. And it's changing already. I've got to say, it smells a bit like seaweed. Quite a seaweedy smell, but quite nice. So these things are absolutely ruined and the holes. Do you like that? Anyhow, this one is so big and look at the mashup of glue and all sorts in there. So I've, this one is so big, I've got to put that in first and then that over the top just to make it solid again. Anyhow, tip here is if you've got something like that, get yourself the vacuum cleaner just set up so that every now and then you can just pull it out, poke it in there, hoover it and then it's there ready for you. So saves it falling all over the floor. So there you go, block fitted. What I do is I put glue all around it and then G cramp it down. I'll show you if I can. No, it doesn't want to come out. There you go. Look at this wood, it's just really fibrous. This pine is it's not a very good structural timber, I wouldn't be. I wouldn't be happy with it, but it's a few years old now, so right, hoover that out, glue that in, I'll show you. Right, lots of glue on there. I've cleaned all the animal glue off. Way too much glue on there. But you know, some of that glue can go in there. And it's it'll be there for gap filling as well. Right, let's see how we get on. All right, get a G-cramp. Can you see it going down? We'll do it, there you go. That might be a bit easier. Try and hold you and that at the same time. Oh, I can't do it. Right, so I've held it down as tight as I can with the G-cramp. I'll leave that for a minute or two. And then I'll start removing the G-cramp so that it can, if, if there's some compression going on as it's drying, if it wants to push it back out, if it's compressing the timber too much, it can. So I'm not being too rigid with it. I'm letting it settle with the timber. So let's just, uh, let's just unscrew this now. There you go. So as you can see, it's it's pretty good. There's no there's no gaps down there. There's a bit of a gap there, but not much. Oh, there's a bit more of a gap there. So what I'll do is I'll push that down and break the. These are beech. 
not much there. No gaps down the side here. That's it. That's all three of them. Look at the... It doesn't matter. I was going to say, look at the way that the drill that they use. Look how the drill wrecked the fibres and then the glue goes into those. Is that a good thing? Probably is. Probably a good thing, but not for these holes for those legs. Anyhow, three done. Uh, another hour, it's two o'clock Sunday. I'm going to get on with some lunch and then I can have a look. I'll see how that glue's doing. So that's recessed out. That's the same thickness. So that's ready to go in there now. So glue it up. Let's get it done. There you go. Now I've wet it and got the excess glue off. That's it. Done. Move on to the next one. Okay, so that's dry and sitting there waiting for me to get back on with it. Um, just need to get this thing done for somebody. I'm having to return these feet because they're so bad. These spindles are so bad. They're full of glue. They're just a mess, and my lathe has been moved from over there. So you're gonna you're gonna criticise me on this, but I've just cramped it in place with big G cramps. So and it's just turning that. I've lowered the speed, and it's fine. There's no vibration, but I've returned that already, and it's a two minute job, and it's safe. And look at the difference. Look at that compared to that. When it's just the problem is the, the, the leg wasn't sticking because it had got it was full of polish and all sorts around here. So we've now got a fresh new. I'm just going to check that for dimension to make it right for a drill. These are the pads now, and I've centered the holes up. Those are where the holes are. So I've got to sort out the drill. Those four are done, and this will go tomorrow. So just quick and easy job, get it out of the way. So here's the before and after, you can see, and I've not taken much off and I've got a drill that suits it. It's gone from three quarters down to just under 19 mil. And that one I've got to drill out and put a dowel in, but I've got, I found a bit of dowel made ages ago. But there you go, that's that's the difference. It's going to sit, that shoulder is going to sit on the on the pad there properly, whereas this, wasn't and look how polished and shiny it is yeah nearly done that's it they're in that's how tight the fit is and they fit pretty good and this doesn't take me too long i spent more time messing around with this and getting past all these blooming nails with those pads that's what's taken the time but these are pretty good and that's the new one New dowel, bigger hole, that was 19 mil, all the rest of 18 mil, and that will be glued on there. And that's it, another quick job out of the way. Right, that's it, and to make sure they're perfectly down flat and straight, I've put some short pieces of timber and cramp, cramped them up like that, clamped them up like that. That one needed me to go all the way to the floor. There you go, that one needs to go all the way through. And uh, and they're all down. And there's glues, you know, and it's oak on oak. And oak on oak. So it's going to be much, much better than it was originally made oak on pine, which all loosened and horrible. And now these are going to last forever. So that's it, job done.